Right guys, just a quick video to just show you a small product um, that I've recently uh, purchased. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys, uh, if you follow my channel, use impact drivers. Uh, the problem with impact driver is, you know, for a bit storage, your typical impact driver, you've got a little magnetic bit here where you can keep your spare bits. This is just the DeWalt, just for a reference, and this is a Milwaukee. It's got the same, you can see the, the bit there. Um, but there is a product in the market. This is called the, the Spider Bit Holster. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically three rubber tubes that comes with an adhesive backing and you stick it to your tool. Uh, in this case, the side of a dual impact driver. And uh, what it does, it provides, you know, three areas of storage. You can store whatever bit you want in there. Um, so it just saves a little bit of time and a bit of you know, mucking about, looking for bits. Uh, the only thing I would say about this, um, I obviously didn't clean this uh, driver enough before sticking this on. So it does come with a 3M adhesive backing pad. You stick it on, um, and that should be enough to hold. I obviously didn't clean it in this. My one actually started peeling away. So what I've done, I've actually used just a, a construction adhesive. Just put a blob in the back, stuck it on, and honestly, that's solid. That's going nowhere. You, know, you can see, pull the bits out. I tend to use these longer bits which fit in fine, so basically you can store three. But if you do use the shorter bits, you can put one on one side and you know one sticking out the back. So you could hold six bits um, there. But I've been using this for a few months now and it's honestly, it's, it's invaluable, you know, it's really good to have that. So it fits on any impact driver, any drill. You know, you can even use it on drills. You know, keep certain drill bits in it if you wanted. Here's the Milwaukee one. Um, I use this pretty much for driving eight mil hex screws into fence rails in my case. So keep a spare one of those on there. Posi two and a TX twenty if I ever need to swap them out. But not a really good addition to the to the tool. So just making you aware of it. I wasn't too sure these things existed, but I did see them. I actually saw them on another channel. I thought that's a good idea, so I picked them up. Um, you get them on Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description. So if you click on show more down below this video, I'll leave a link to these. And um, they are quite pricey uh, for, for what they are, but honestly, you know, they're, they're time savers. Uh, really good product. All right, guys, so just thought I'd share that with you. As you can see, they're called the Spider Tool Holsters. If this was any use to you at all, give the video a thumbs up as always. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be hugely appreciated as always. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. All the best.